we're going through a climate emergency. Today, given what is happening with extreme weather, given the certainties and the signals we see in the climate change, I think the relevance of care is more important than any before. So what is currently missing is the very detailed information how clouds and aerosols are forming and how they are interacting with the sunlight that is coming into the atmosphere, it's coming towards the Earth, and how we are also radiating, how the heat is being radiated from the Earth backwards into the universe. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery, a lot of knowledge gap that we hope Earthcare will help us to solve. So we really need to improve our understanding in order to get better predictions, both in terms of sort of climate timescale predictions, but also weather forecasts, and particularly the extreme events that we're expecting to become more frequent due to uh, climate change. Earthcare will provide us novel and important information about uh, clouds and aerosols and their interaction and how they reflect with uh, the climate and how they influence the climate. So we have uh, two groups of instruments. We have uh, two what we call passive instruments. They just observe what is uh, uh, happening on the earth in the atmosphere. The first one is called MSI, multispectral imager, and it takes images. The first is basically a big camera. It collects seven wavelength ranges of information and a much wider swath. The wide swath of this camera allows us to collect contextual information to tell us what are we actually looking at. The multispectral imager is also used for collecting some aerosol information. Then we have a broadband radiometer. The radiometer is measuring the fluxes at the top of the atmosphere. It's measuring the energy, the thermal energy, that is going back into space from the same point as that the other instruments are observing. The two active instruments, they, use, they do a different technique. They send out a signal and they look at what is coming back from that signal and how is it changed. The athlete instrument, which is the atmospheric glider, does it with UV light. It sends UV laser pulses from the spacecraft to the atmosphere. A similar process is done by the cloud profiling radar. CPR has the first ever Doppler velocity measurement capability. It's a very challenging technology. Cloud profiling radar, CPR, measure the how many, how high cloud particles are present by transmitting electromagnetic pulse from the satellite and receiving uh, reflected pulse from the cloud particle. For the first time, we will see the vertical movement of clouds in itself. And all this will help us to better understand how basically the clouds, the aerosols, are affecting climate. So how do they work together? As I said, athlete sees the thin atmosphere, the outside from the clouds, and, and the, the, the fog and the haze and the, the dust particles. CPR looks internally. Then we combine that with the MSI instrument, with the images, and we, we can extrapolate that to, to a bigger uh, part. With that, we can estimate how much energy we believe is going back into space. And we compare that with the last instrument, the broadband radiometer, to see if it's, it fits, if our knowledge is correct or not. Earthcare is flying a polar orbit. It means every time it flies around the Earth, it is flying over the poles. Um, we have two polar ground stations located there that receive the data and then uh, it is fed both into numerical weather prediction models and weather forecast and also into a processing system that generates higher level products that are used to improve climate models. We are very much looking forward to having the new techniques in space because uh, we will get a new insight into uh, the different types of aerosols, uh, how they are globally distributed, which optical properties they have, uh, how they influence the radiation budget, and very important also how they influence uh, the development of clouds and precipitation. Your information uh, that is coming from Earthcare is going to be really fundamental to improving our scientific understanding of the way the atmosphere works. And now we can be proud on this uh, achievement that the Earthcare spacecraft is here, will be launched uh, shortly and will start to deliver this very essential data for not just Europeans, not just for the Japanese uh, society, but for the global society in, in general.